Burgess here with Music Marketing TV. And today we've got a copy of Blue Cat's Late Replies. And I have a couple questions about this that we are gonna check out today. So Blue Cat Late Replies is a delay plugin that allows you to load plugins inside of the plugin. So we can generate a number of replies. These are like individual delays. And so I'm gonna set this to max. And I had two questions. My first question was, in these, all these additional effects slot areas, we can load VSTs. So if you're in a host that doesn't support them, uh, this is a great way to get to your VST library. But they also have in the built-in effects that come with it, a multi-tap delay. And so naturally, I want to know what this is going to sound like if I just max out delay, delay everything. There's a couple of ways I want to try it though, because I feel like some, I feel like this could get really complicated. So let's start off with the basics. And so I want to first fill up one row, then we're going to do this whole thing, and then we're going to fill up every single spot. That's what we're going to do. I'm just super curious on what this is going to sound like. I'm also kind of curious on uh, how, if, how much CPU this is going to take. So right now we're sitting at an idle of 10 just because of other things I have. So let's go ahead and first, each delay we can move over, if it'll let me turn that off. So there we go. We can put them on their own offsets. So with this setup, each delay is being cascaded so that they all don't happen at the exact same time. And it sounds like this. So you, you can already see this is going to get good. Okay, let's come in here. We're going to go to select. These are the built-in effects. And I'm going to grab the multi-tap delay. Okay, so we're going to load up the first instance here all the way. I'm going to keep the repeats for the first one on one. And we're going to get more complex as we go down. I'm going to take the mix up to 100%. Actually, let's try it with the mix at 50%. So each one will receive less and less dry sound as we go along. The spread, I'm going to leave at zero at first. The delay, uh, we're going to switch this to sync mode. And I'll leave that at a half note. And that's what we're going to do for the first one. Now I'm going to grab this by control click drag and you can actually clone them, which is, that's beautiful. Uh, that's something I wish certain DAWs would uh, integrate. Now, for the second one, I'm going to go up to two. I'm going to bring this down to a quarter. And I'm going to bring up the spread a little bit. And I'm all done with that one. So we're going to close that. We're going to drag and let's do the next one. We're going to go up to three. I'm going to bring the spread up even more. I'm going to go down to an eighth. And the mix. Yep, 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 yep. Looks good to me. And the final one. We're going to come in here, we're going to bring the spread up a little bit past 50, we're going to bring it up to 4 and bring this down to a 16th. So when this first delay hits, it's going to hit a multi-tap delay that's going to only send Roan Reflection, but it's going to get increasingly dense as we go down, getting wider and wider with more copies. So uh, let's hear it. Okay, so there's our first one. Here it is, two stacks. Now, we should probably make these slightly different, so I'm going to pan one left and one right. Let's keep going here. Let's do a stack all the way across the top. What, what would it sound like if we went all the way across the top with just our first stack here? Throw in our second. My prediction for this is a wall of sound, but I'm really curious in how this is going to sound. I expect it to be kind of comb filtery. And so far, oh, well, we're getting the CPU rise. We're at, we're at 18 now. Oh, we're hitting 30. This is going to be. A...
Let's send it in. Let's send in something that's got a pluck on it. So I'm gonna really quick just and a distortion. Okay, so now let's try doing something uh, that will make this a little more easy. So each one I'm going to reduce the volume increasingly. And I'm gonna be rather severe at the beginning where these are basically almost nothing. Maybe I'll make this one randomly higher. Let's bring the pans over so that they're all a bit different. Let's keep a one in the, let's keep two of them in the middle, the first and the last one. This is pretty cool. Now, of course, we gotta go a step further and fill up every extra slot we have with these delays. And let's see how it likes this. Now on these, I should be reducing the level as we go here. I'm getting mad matrix vibes right now. Okay, so I'm going to now take this same stack and put them down here in the additional effects lanes we have here for our feedback. Oh, in mix. like the longest note I've ever heard. Okay, so it's still going. That's that's the feedback sort of to be expected for uh, so many delays. So this is already a long note and then we're feedbacking that whole thing into itself. So perhaps if we bring the feedback, I mean, geez, what would just the feedback level? What if we just made it like teeny, like itsy bitsy? Okay, so it can handle significantly smaller feedback amounts. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, we're gonna go with the way lower feedback because before that was getting crazy. Okay, so also I'm curious, give it like a nice lower plucked.
Wait, we're missing, we're missing a whole spot. Oh my gosh, we're not done yet. Okay, let's put them over here in the post. We need, we can't, oh my goodness, can't believe we almost missed that. All right, so here it is with the final shebang. Got our compressor turning on here. We're pushing it. If you have any questions about this, let me know, subscribe, and have a blessed day.